Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and as you might have noticed we're not gonna do any coding today, we're gonna learn how to read the Java Docs. The Java Docs can be found online, I will put a link down below, it's just easy. And uh, Let's take a look at what it actually is, because we're now inside a uh, overview, as you can see on the top of the screen, this is just Internet Explorer, uh, I mean not Internet Explorer, Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer, well. uh, overview of all the different classes, the all different packages, and the main view is over here, it's in the middle. Uh, on the top left you can uh, also see all the packages uh, and on the bottom left there's all the classes and you can see things are organized by uh, like attributes, blocks inside here you can see all blocks like dispenser, dropper, beds, be beacons, banners and uh, then you can find all kind of stuff like if you want to know anything about uh, what you can do with a bat you can either look it up in the left bottom like let's look for bat bat over here and then you can see that it's class bat it's uh, inside the org.bucket.material.bat which is uh, inside org.bucket.material.material.data inside java and java.long.object uh, it has implemented interfaces. That means that it, um, so yeah, that it is a clonable and a directional. So you can also click on these. Like you can see uh, that these are sub interfaces. And let's get back to the back to the bed. Bed over here. So that's like where it comes from. It's implemented. It has implemented these interfaces. So it can be cloned, and it has a direction. Um, public class bat and it extends material data so bat is part of is like an extension to material data it inherits all the things from uh, material data and expands on that and it implements directional so what can you actually do with this now we know what it is it's the same for all it's the same for uh, let's see it's the same for another block let's quickly find another block like a button it's a, it has the same thing uh, everything is the same but the the things are different the layout is of ev the same everywhere and the bed you can get a quick representation of what it is so it represents a bed and what it does it's a constructor summary you can see the constructors like bed is the default constructor for a bed uh, so you can just call bed bed equals new bed and then you can construct a bed or you can uh, give it a direction or yeah these are all the constructors so how you can make them how you can call them and what you can do with them is in the method summary so you can clone it and it re will return a bed uh, you can get the facing it will return a block face so it gets the direction so these are all the summaries, the, the methods that you can do with them to string um, and then you get the inherited methods uh, these are inherited from material data other things are inher inherited from different kind of things in uh, all of the other things we will look at another like at the horse in uh, just a second and it also inherits these things from uh, the uh, Java object. Then you can get the constructor details. So here, are, here is the constructor summary. So you can get to the detail. So uh, for the public bed, you can just use that. You can construct the bed. And then for the others, uh, mind that the deprecated, deprecated uh, things aren't actually used anymore. You can use them, but don't. Just don't. And they get the method detail, like uh, is head of bed, because a bed has two blocks, and then you can check. So if if it's not true, if it this is the head of the bed, false, it's not the foot. Uh, set head of bed, so set facing. Uh, you, you can do all kinds of stuff, and that's it for the for the bed. Now let's take a look at 
well, for example, the cow, not the horse, but the cow. And the cow is known to be uh, part of the ageable animals, attributable command sender, creature, damageable entity, etc., etc., etc. So it inherits all of the things that an ageable can do, that an animal can do, that an attributable can do. And a thing that expands on that is the mushroom cow. So the mushroom cow is of type cow and the cow is of type animal but also type ageable etc 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 and you can um, check that over here so public interface cow extends animals represents a cow uh, it's an uh, entity that speak it so it's a nested class um, method summary we get the method summary again there's loads of things that get inherited like the from the age ball you can check if it can breed if get age get age lock is adult set adult etc etc from entity to creature get target set target methods inherited from in etc etc and it does not really have anything for its own so it's all inherited this one and but you don't want to be scrolling through this and looking for everything like if i want to check a zombie i need to go to the z i need to go to zombie but there's a much faster way to do this because if you look at the top left there's like a little summary it's like tabs uh, if i want to look for a zombie i just look for yeah, org.bucket.entity and then i get all the entities over here like the uh, abstract horse, ageable, ambient, animals, animal tamer, blaze, boat, cow, like everything that has to do with entities. But that's the same with the events. So we've been looking at events, player events lately. Uh, or the bucket dot event dot player. Uh, last time, uh, last time we looked at an entity event. So you can go to or the bucket dot event dot entity. Uh, entity damaged by entity event. This one. And then you can see the how to construct it, how to, and then you can see because we did, we got the damager and that's a method, but the other methods are inherited by entity damage event, and that's how the Java docs work. Actually, there's no much more. Yeah, you can use the tree, but it's very very laggy as you can see, and that's it for today's video. I hope you got anything out of this if you didn't please let me know down in the in the comments if you have any questions about how this works because we're not gonna go over any events anymore because they're all found here if you just have like if you don't get anything just go to the discord ask me about it and i will take a look at it and fix it maybe if i can and yeah that's the javadoc spigot Hope you enjoyed, if you did leave a like, if you want to see more subscribe and any feedback or suggestions highly appreciate it either in the comments or at the discord because you can join the discord, links down below in the description and uh, see you next time, bye.